and then come to this problem. We are on free tier, but why we are seeing this estimate monthly cost? But before that, hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to create our MySQL database free using Amazon RDS free tier. In here, if you can see, if we eligible to Amazon free tier, we able to use 750 hours of Amazon RDS in this instance and then we are also able to have uh, another database like mariadb postgre and also sql express in here but you need to make sure that you only use 750 hours 700 if we want to use one database for full one month i have calculated before okay if you can see in here it's 720 so if you want to run two different database or two instance of database in full one month it will be not free so yeah just make sure you only have one instance of this database and maybe the rule is different for the sql express edition yeah because we see it also having another 750 hours but i'm not really sure about this maybe you can ask custom support about this one because in this case we are going to use mysql database and then there is another uh, rule for this one we can talk about this later so yeah we can just go to our console okay i have opened my console here and then yeah you can just open rds window here okay and then you will go to these pages just click on create database and then use the standard create and make sure you are not selecting the aurora version but my sql version just standard MySQL version i mean and then if you scroll down yeah no need to choose this one just keep it default engine version if you want to change it you can also select but i don't want to i just use the default and then i ignore this one this one uh, the enable rds extended support we don't need that because it will be paid so we are using the free tier in here and if you scroll down we can see it's only able to have single db instance with no db instance with no standby db instance okay so yeah that's okay it's enough for our free tier and then if you scroll down again uh, the database we need to name it um, mysql you can name it as you want it's not the server name to accessing our mysql database but it's just identifier for our um database in our aws rds console because in example we have multiple database instance we can identify by this name and then yeah this is the username we need to save it to accessing to our mysql database basically we can see in here aws also provide us to save our password using aws secrets manager but if you can see in here there is additional charge apply so we just select the self manage we can save by ourselves for free and then the master password okay you put your password here i just put my password okay good we scroll down again the instance configurable configuration make sure you only select the dbt3 micro and db or dbt 4g micro because if we see in here only these two instance for free the other is not free uh, even actually we are, we're not able to select yeah, because previously we already select the free tier option so we're not able to select then we're not able to select the other just make sure you select the specific instance configuration in here i'm using the dbt3 micro okay scroll down with and for storage you need to make sure you are using gp2 no need to change this one to gp3 in order because there is no mention that we not pay for this but if we see in here it's mentioned that we only able to use gp2 if we want to use the free tier so to provide an additional cost need to pay we just select the gp2 and then the allocated storage to 20 gigabyte same as this one right and also there is a storage auto scaling you need to disable it because basically if we enable it an example our database 
storage more than 20 GB and then it will automatically increase and if increase you know lah we need to pay more for this so we don't want to do that just disable it in the next the connectivity i'm not going to use ec2 in here so i just use the don't connect to an ec2 computer resource okay and then yeah just using a default vpc yeah i think i'm using default vpc is okay after the, the, the okay okay db subnet i'm just using default and the public access if you want to access your mysql from your computer you need to able you need to enable this one so i just enable it i want to access and then the vpc security group i just using a default that we modify if needed and then the availability zone i think no preference so it will be randomly select between these three rds proxy we disable it because enable would be additional cost just disable it, it why is enable i don't need okay disable certificate just use default we don't need additional configuration we don't need to change anything just make it default like that text also i don't think we need to add this one database authentication we are selecting the password authentication is enough and then monitoring we are not using any monitoring and then the additional configuration i think uh, no, 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 no. i don't think we is the backup free uh, okay just i think it's okay if we ignore this one and then come to this problem we are on free tier but why we are seeing this estimate monthly cost and because of this one to make sure i asking the support of aws to help me handle this issue and then if we open our my case yeah support uh, new tab okay in here i'm raising uh, one case the support help me his name is Safi. He's a good person. He mentioned that the point is this one. Uh, as discussed on chat, I have confirmed you that DB3 Micro instance come under free tier with 20 gigabyte. Blah 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 blah. Okay. The point is this one is free, and this one is free. We are using correct SSD GP2 20 gigabyte, and then this one. I also inform you that the reason there were estimate charge showing as estimate charge page does not factor in free tier option while creating an estimate okay basically the point of this is just the estimation if later our free tier not eligible anymore maybe after 12 months this aws want to mention us the this is the number of money we need to pay but for now we not going to pay anything at least until our free tier not eligible anymore and also he also personally monitor my account for next two uh, two days in here yeah, if there will be any charge in court it's already today and he don't charge me again so i think the case closed uh, it's free actually and yeah if we back to our console here we can just continue and all is done we can just create our database okay just close it we don't need it and yeah now status is creating okay i have also created another instance of sql express before usually it will take around 10 or 15 minutes so we can just wait or if we see yeah, if you open okay we will having an issue when we try to connecting to our uh, mysql using our laptop or pc because there is additional configuration we need to add in here if we open the vpc security groups and then open again the security group id here ah i have add this before and i think you will not have this so to add this one you just selecting the inbound rules yeah make sure and then edit inbound rules and then scroll down a bit just click add rule in here add rule select the custom tcp and tcp and the port oh yeah if we back again sorry uh, instance our database 
okay we not able to see our port that's okay so we just wait until it's available and i will tell you okay finally we can see our port here after available and we are using the port 3306 and then if we back to our inbound rules again in here we select the custom tcp tcp and 3306 in here i have at this before actually 3306 and this one keep custom and this select the this one 000 slash 0 okay and after that you need to add one more uh, tcp same using same port but for this one and after this yeah you just save rules in here okay and i need to delete it again because i have it okay and i don't want to change okay you save change and after that if we back to our mysql database and we try to access it and i'm trying to access using my sql workbench you can use any tools you want to and i try to add this one i copy from here back again paste here using this port correct right and then i'm using admin before as username and put my password and if i test the connection nice we are able to access our mysql database okay good hope you also success creating this database if you have any question you can ask below okay good bye, -bye.